Hello everyone, good evening. So today we are going to learn how to dynamically adjust Pega SLA. So in SLA we are going to learn how to adjust the SLA goal and uh, sorry SLA time and urgency. Okay. So in any of the projects, right, what happens is right that depending on the business situations and the business attribute, okay, sometimes we want to increase the priority of any case, right? Let's say let's take an example that if you are working on it like uh, if you're working on applications where you're doing some transactions of money okay so if the transactions amount is higher then you you may want that case should get resolved sooner okay or it should get approved sooner so this is this is one example okay sometimes what happens is that uh, you create a case and and in the beginning only right the moment you create a case if you are using a case level sla so then you need to define the goal and deadline at this point of time only but again if you want to readjust that right the the goal time and deadline so let's say you created a case okay for transactions amount okay 500 and then initially you said the goal for two days and the deadline for four days okay but the transactions amount came as a five million right so you may want to increase that from two days to two hours and the goal deadline from four days to two hours right or the four hours how you can achieve this one so we are going to discuss this whole like how we can adjust the whole things right how we can adjust the you can see that the first point how we can adjust the case level urgency or the work urgency and and what happens is that how our assignment urgency gets calculated is that assignment urgency plus work urgency is the total okay assignment urgency so that's how it's the assignment urgency gets calculated so if we are ad, like increasing or adjusting the work urgency how we can resync that assignment urgency so that we are going to learn and then the four, third point is it just work level sln goal uh, sla goal and deadline as i said right in the beginning because the sla gets initiated the moment you create a case okay but depending on your business attribute if you want to update goal and deadline how you can do that okay and then the last point is that how we can do for assignment also so let's see that so i have a sample uh, case type okay so you can see that we have a create enter loan details approve and fulfill okay so as i'm saying the moment i create a case okay click on create okay that case level sla gets initiated kicked off okay so i have created two sla rules so this is my case level sla okay and there is no initial urgency so goal is two hours and the deadline is four hours let's say okay or let's give two days oh, and then here give two days okay so that will reduce it okay as i'm saying uh, two hours four days two hours and four hours so the moment i'll create a case right how much the urgency my case urgency will be 10 because 10 is that the default okay pega urgency work class or that work class urgency there is some property okay from there like we said that in py default data transform we can initialize so from there it will come so let's create a case and see that. So the moment I create a case, my agency or the priority is dead. Let's see from where this value is coming. Okay, as I said, from which attribute. So if I just search with urgency, so as I was saying that PX urgency work class, we have set 10 and we are not making any adjustment, any and anything. Our goal is like not executing. Okay, if you see that our goal is two hours, even though we are trying to increase the urgency by 10, it will not get executed. Our deadline is four hours so this is also not going to increase okay so that's where the value is coming 10 for now okay and that we have set in py default data transform you can adjust that if you want like during case creations only if you want to adjust you can adjust with this one or you can adjust with another attribute i which i'll show you now let's take an example okay that in this flow okay also i have an assignment level sla so this is my approval okay in this one i have also created an assignment level sla and in this one i have given initial urgency five in this one i have kept it left it black uh, zero in this one i have given five and the goal one hour so uh, and then deadline is two hours so let's take an example that the moment if i create an assignment how much agency will be there for this assignment so the 10 will come from the walk okay and it will get added five so so in the beginning it will be 15 okay and after one hour it can go as 25 and then after two hours again it will add 20 so it will go 45 okay so let's see if this is working or not okay so the moment i'll create okay so go here so we have you can see that urgency we have 10 okay but let's see how much the urgency on the for the assignment okay so i'll go to assign this work list 
assigned as voltage. So we can see that it's a 50. Okay, so this is working as expected. So our goal, our case level urgency is 10 and then our assignment level urgency is 5. Okay, it's it, uh, like our assignment level SLA is not cross the goal or deadline. It's just adding the initial urgency, so total 50. Now, let's take an example that during this approval, the moment we are going for approval, based on the transactions amount or based on any business value attribute, dynamically you want to determine okay, that how much I want to increase the urgency for the work and also as I said the moment you change that work urgency it should also reflect the same in the assignment urgency as well because if you see the calculation here so PX urgency assign SLA is that like PX one second so here if you see that urgency so PX agency work, you can see that it's coming 10 and PX agency assign SLA. So this is the SLA 15 and total agency is 15. PX agency assign is 15. So PX agency assign SLA is coming from the SLA rule 5 and then it's coming the work here, the work went 10 and then total it's showing 50, right? So now if we want to increase that, right? So how we can do that? So what I have done in the new default, okay, because the new defaults gets uh, like called automatically during the assignment creations, but you can determine trigger point, okay, you can maybe execute manually, you can have some agents or something like, or you can have declare trigger to execute this one. But what I'm doing here is that the moment I'm trying to create an assignment and or going to the approval. So that is where I have put a condition that execute this one when my flow type name is approve underscore flow okay increase that the work urgency by 13 so you can see that here so this is one of the important attributes so if you want to increase the work urgency okay so you can just add that much urgency whatever the agency you want to add to this py urgency work adjust and it will do the job so let's see if it is happening or not so now I have enabled that one. So the moment what will happen, what this step will do the changes, the moment I'll create a case, okay, and go to this approval stage, my work urgency will become 10, the initial one, and then this one 10 plus 13, it will go to the 25, 23. So let's see if it is happening or not. So see, initially it's a 10, but the moment if I'll go to that approval stage, approve flow, it's a C, it's a 23. But what is the agency on the assignment? Let's see that. So it's a, a still 50. So you can ask a question that why it's a 15 only. If I see that still here the work urgency is showing 10. Okay. So this is the problem, right? So we increase the work urgency, but it's not reflecting on the assignment. Okay. But you want that, right? So that you get next work and other things will work properly. So how we can achieve this one? Because we increase the work urgency, but it's not adjusting the assignment level urgency. So for that, what you need to do, you can execute this two activity. Okay. So this one, PX adjust SLA and then after adjusting that SLA, you can call resync assignment agency. So you need to call this two activity. So this activity just take one parameter. So the SLA name, so our assignment level SLA name is approve reject one. Okay. So that's what I'm passing. If you want to pass audit note or anything, you can do that. Commit not required because from the SLA rule, it will auto do that. And this is the, this doesn't take any parameter. It's just what it will do. First one, it will reset that SLA and then adjust that, okay, whatever that, because it will re, basically it will recalculate that, re, resync assignment agency, okay. So let's see, I have enabled this two step and let's see if it is helping now or not, okay. So if you see that the moment I created, I have not changed anything, okay. And you can see that the assignment level SLA, the goal is one hour and then deadline is two hours. So it's not doing anything, okay. So agency is 50. Now let's see what changes will happen after enabling this two step. Okay. So let's go ahead and create a case and go to that approval stage. Let's go there. So we have 23. Let's see our assignment level agency. So you can see that 28, right? So this time what happened that the 13, if I go here and show you the work urgency, it's just showing 23. So 23 from the work and from the SLA 5 assign as like from the assignment SLA 5 and total, okay, agency for the assignment is 28. Okay. So you can see that how this activity is working, right? So this two activity, you need to call PX adjust SLA at resync assignment SLA agency. So this is covering our point one and two. Okay. So what we learned in this one in point one and two is that if you want to adjust your the case level urgency and 
or the work level agency, you can use that property and adjust that much value. But if you want to reflect that value on the assignment also, okay, then you need to adjust that. But you may not need like point to always because you just want to adjust the agency on the work. Okay, you don't care about the assignment. Okay, then the first step is okay. But if you want to adjust on the assignment as well, then you need to do that racing on the assignment also. Okay, so it's covering one and two. Now let's discuss about the point three. So point three is saying about that adjusting the work SLA goal and deadline. So as I said, the moment you create a case, okay, your SLA gets initiated and and it will set the date goal day goal deadline and everything, okay, during that time only. But that time you don't have the proper goal and deadline because you want to determine your goal and deadline, okay, depending on your business attribute, okay. So how you can do that? So if you want to adjust, okay, let's see that how we can do it in Pega. And again, this one here I'm setting hard, hard coded value 13, but this should come depending on your business attributes. So let's say you may create, you may consider to create a decision table and depending on that, you need to return this value and adjust it. But for now I'm doing with 13, okay. So now what we're trying to learn is that how we can adjust that, okay, the work level SLA goal and deadline. So. Here, if you see that, okay, this is my SLA rule. So it's a two days and four days. Okay. So let's see that on, pre on the previous case. So what is the, what's the goal and deadline on the work level? So if I see here, PY SLA. So you can see that it's a showing 11 and 13. So today is nine and it's a showing 11 and 13. Okay. So it's a saying after two days, but what if we want to reduce it from the two days to two hours and four hours. So how we can achieve this one? So let's learn that one. So for that, again, we need to call this activity. Okay, so define SLA time. So what this activity does it, okay, that it will take the SLA goal and deadline and readjust that, okay, with the new value. So what we can do is, we'll update the SLA goal and, and deadline. So here in this activity, you can see that on this step, of updating the PYSL and goal, goal PYSL goal and deadline. You can ask a question that if I'm updating this this value, then it's it, the, my work is done. No, it's not done. It if you just update this two attribute, it will do the it will update your PY work page, but it will not update the SLA instances because you know right whenever we use SLA, Pega queues that to that SLA agent right. So we need to update that as well. Basically, we need to adjust that whole SLA. So here what I'm doing, I'm setting the PYSLA and goal, new SLA goal and deadline, and then executing this activity and saying use existing value because I'm updating this value just above this step, okay? So after like what it will do in this activity, it will take this new goal and deadline and readjust my work SLA goal and deadline time. So let's see if this is happening or not, okay? So what I have done, I have enabled this step seven and eight, okay, and I'll try to create a new case. So you can see that, okay, like we have the two days and four days, but now it should show me that two days only, okay? So let's see that. Let's try to create, okay? And again, it will execute when I'll go to the approval because I have that condition. And again, these things, right? So you can call depending on your situations from where you want to call. I'm just trying to give you an example that which activity, okay, will help you in which scenario and how you can adjust that, the be it urgency or the time. So now let's go here. Okay. So we went to that approval stage. Now let's see that. Okay. What is our goal and deadline? PYSLA. So you can see that it's a showing for two days only. See 0909. So you can see how we adjusted it. Let's try to create another case. Okay. And we'll see that just before the approval stage and after approval stage. So we created that we are here let's see the value it should show that uh, for for 11th and 13th so see it's saying 11 and 13th now if i go and submit this one that value will change from 11 13 to today's only see it got updated so you can see that how we are adjusting that sla right so now we are also done with the point four okay uh, sorry, point three. So what as of now we have learned, okay, so we have learned how we can adjust the work level agency, how we can resync the, the assignment level agency if you are updating the case level agency. And then also we learn 
that how we can adjust the walk SLA and SLA walk SLA goal and deadline. Basically, how we can update the case level goal and and, and deadline. Okay. Now the last point is that same. Okay, what we did for that uh, walk level SLA. Okay. How how we can do for the assignment also. So let's see that. So for that also, I have identified that activity and add it in the same. Home. Okay. So I'll just comment this one. Now this time will be enabling these two steps. Okay. So it just SLA times. Okay. And this one, what parameter it takes. So this activity takes few parameter. Okay. So it will take that. So adjustment made mode like what kind of adjustment you want to try so here adjustment mode so it should be fixed or interval like if you want to just ad adjust with the uh, like fixed or interval adjustment mode so fixed means that you want to give a date and time or a, like you want to try with the interval like two hours four hours so depending on that you need to fill that parameter okay so here we need to give fixed and then param dot goal and so here I'm giving the goal date and a deadline time. Okay. And then what this with this three attribute, you need to call that. Okay. And here it might not work because I'm trying to adjust it when I'm trying to create the assignment. Okay. So maybe during that time or my assignment is not there, but you can do it. Let's say that you are, your, uh, your assignment is already created and you are sitting. Okay. Your case is sitting idle and that time you want to update it from the as like another agent or from somewhere you can call this activity adjust sla time and what parameter it takes i'm just trying to explain that here it will take goal override and go deadline override and date time okay and the adjustment mode is fixed so basically we are giving a new goal and deadline but what if you want to change okay in terms of interval basically okay with my current goal okay you adjust four hours on the uh, four hours, four days, two days, or like four hours, okay, two seconds, something like that. So if I come to this activity, so you need to pass assignment ID and then uh, adjustment mode and then depending on the adjustment mode. So if it is fixed, you need to pass these two, okay, uh, override date time goal and then deadline override date time. If you are using interval, then you can pass this one, okay, goal adjust days, goal adjust hours, minutes, okay, in that way and then same for that. Uh, audit note uh, like for sorry same for the deadline and then you have the audit and commit here also it's not required okay so this this is the this is the activity for the final one okay and the same activity right px adjust sla if you want to really <coughs> sorry really want to try pega gives <coughs> pega gives a local actions also for this one so somewhere i think it gets executed through the local action okay so see p py adjust sla time so you can let's say if you want to really try okay but this will only work when you have you when your assignment already exists okay and that is where i'm not showing because when i was trying right my that time i was not able to get my assignment id okay uh, that's where it the issue was coming but if i'll create an assignment okay and after that right uh, if i'll just like uh, run a, this activity right as a one-time activity and pass the assignment and it will work okay so i think that's it for this session okay uh, let me know if you need any help okay but before we go i'll just quickly summarize that what are things we learn okay so we learn how to adjust the case level agency and that we learn that using an attribute right uh, agency adjust like this attribute name i'm forgetting that on forgetting that attribute name py agency work adjust we can adjust the case level sla okay and if we are if we are if we are updating the case level sla or like sorry uh, uh, adjusting the work uh, like case level agency or the work level agency you may need to consider in some situations if you have assignments that you want to resync that your or recalculate the assignment agency so that also we learn that um, after setting that attribute value right we need to call another two activities so that also you saw and then uh, the third point we learn is that how we can adjust the the goal and deadline for the case level sla and the final one we learn we didn't see that okay but we learn that what activity and what parameter we can pass to adjust the assignment level goal and deadline that's it please try and let me know if you need any help thank you thank you very much have a good day bye